Uh, hi guys, uh, I'm Jay Jananovic and uh, this is the second uh, Adobe Illustrator tutorial on uh, how to create a, a vintage uh, vector badge uh, uh, like this. Uh, if you haven't watched the first video, uh, I would recommend you to do so uh, because uh, there are some important steps uh, that you need to overcome uh, to create the, the shape that we have here. Um, in this video, I'll show you uh, how to make a, a brush uh, that has this uh, uh, barbed wire look. And uh, maybe uh, if we had time uh, to show uh, how to make this uh, subtle, uh, subtle uh, grunge texture. Uh, I'll just uh, make this uh, star look a bit rustic, uh, like we have it here on this uh, this image. Uh, so. Uh, we are using the technique uh, uh, I've already shown in the first video. Uh, just make making these uh, edges, uh, yeah, uh, a bit uh, curvy, uh, so it looks better. Uh, you can use the cut tool. Uh, see here uh, where the the scissors and the eraser tool is. Uh, you have the cut. Uh, uh, pardon me, uh, the knife tool, and. Uh, you select uh, what you want to cut and uh, hop, do this. We can make it here too. Just random here. Uh, this is all in rustic and uh, the star is almost falling apart here. So let's select this. These two parts. That's fine now. This should be okay. Um, uh, now let's get on to the uh, creation of a brush tool uh, that, that will uh, help us uh, create the barbed wire uh, so we don't have to draw it uh, uh, all the way around the circle uh, it, the process will be much easier so uh, this is very simple uh, we uh, pick this shape here and uh, draw one line it's gonna be black doesn't matter and copy it and then uh, take the pen tool and make some something with a sharp <laughs> sharp uh, tip. I'll just lose the stroke here. I just uh, I what I did here. I hold uh, I held the Alt key and the shape uh, copied itself. I'll do the same as I'll select these both uh, shapes and uh, hold out and click and drag uh, to copy this uh, this way and this way and now we have something that looks like a barbed wire uh, it doesn't have to have any defined shape uh, because this is uh, like we said uh, rustic uh, the only thing I'll do is I'll copy this uh, rotate it and uh, uh, one tip uh, I'll show you here uh, is when you uh, try to make uh, objects uh, stretch like this. For example, I can uh, click here and drag. And uh, what I'll get uh, isn't very well uh, because uh, this uh, this is this part here is now stretched. Uh, what we can do is uh, go to this uh, direct selection tool and select only these three points here. Uh, now they are selected and these are not and then hold and drag and now we have a nice shape here okay what we do next uh, to create the brush is uh, select these pads go to brushes I have my brushes panel here you can uh, call it from the, uh, the window and uh, or by using the F5 doesn't matter and drag it here and make a new uh, a new uh, pattern brush uh, we'll come to the settings uh, a bit later um, and let's ju let's just do an experiment here I'll draw a, a circle lose the fill and click here uh, what we got uh, looks more like <laughs> the Chinese alphabet, but uh, uh, this is where our settings come uh, into play. 
uh, we can uh, double click this brush which we created and uh, reduce its size to about maybe 40 more 25 this is okay i like it smaller bar wire is pretty small actually uh, we have more more settings here but we won't be playing with this uh, this is that doesn't matter apply to strokes and uh, what i like to do i i will copy this now and uh, go to edit object sorry and uh, <laughs> we will have to expand this shape but since i i've assigned a shortcut to this can't really find it but it's under uh, it's under the yeah object and expand appearance uh, I have I have assigned a, a shortcut for this but for some reason it won't work uh, maybe because uh, because I'm recording I don't know but we have expanded this and now when we uh, redo the size uh, we can easily fit it in here like this just leave it this and uh, I'll change this uh, transparency style to overlay and uh, maybe add this this color to it okay this is fine like I said uh, it doesn't uh, have to look the same like this one here uh, we are just uh, learning here uh, what are we? Uh, yes. Uh, next thing uh, I will do here uh, is uh, a bit concerned about uh, Photoshop. Uh, we want to make uh, a grunge texture, grunge texture uh, like this. So uh, you can find this uh, find this online. But you'll probably uh, get into some uh, copyright issues, and uh, I, I've uh, decided to show you how to make your own uh, grunge texture. And uh, uh, I just took a picture of uh, a an old calendar I found, and I took a picture of uh, of the back of it. I actually made two, and uh, imported this into Photoshop and uh, played a bit with this and extruded uh extracted this uh, this uh, yeah this image so uh, when you take this image and place it into adobe illustrator and then do a trace okay Let's see what we get. Uh, we get uh, not very good result. Uh, we have to go to the options, tracing, tracing options, and uh, uh, this uh, the slider move it uh, around 200, I believe, and it will, it will do. It's a very large image, uh, around three megabytes, and uh, this is pretty much okay. Uh, you can move it to the right a bit more to get. Uh, more of these uh, dots, little dots, but you don't have to. Uh, let's see what we get here. Mm, okay, uh, I'll just click here, ignore white, to have this transparent, and uh, click on the trace button here. So uh, now I will expand this to get paths. This is now vector. And we have created our own uh, grunge texture. Uh, next thing uh, I will do is, uh, but not in this document. I'll copy this and go here, and then paste it. Uh, next, I will do is I will copy this and make a mask, clipping mask. So we see what we got. I'll drag this above here and change uh, this uh, layer maybe to uh, 
uh, okay not the layer let's change oh, what have I done I uh, will uh, go into this group and uh, make this these contents uh, make them uh, uh, overlay and now we can just uh, simply play with this uh, to get something that su that suits us and maybe actually uh, change this to screen yes this this could do um, okay uh this is okay i could really maybe like this okay this is fine and uh, uh, now uh, what we got uh, is pretty pretty uh, nice a pretty nice result um and uh, that's it for this video uh i'll see you guys in the third video in which uh, i'll show you how to create these uh, uh like uh, thorn edges in uh, uh in totally in adobe illustrator so uh see you there